If you ever see a question like this on the SAT, where you have the side lengths of a right triangle and you're trying to find the altitude, do not use similar triangles. Even though all of this only takes 45 seconds to a minute, there's a much faster solution that only takes 10 seconds. It's simply memorizing this formula, that the altitude of any right triangle is A times B divided by C, where A and B are simply the legs of the right triangle and C is the hypotenuse. So now let's use this formula to solve this in like 10 seconds. The legs are 16 and 30, hypotenuse is 34. 16 times 30 divided by 34. Let's pull up Desmos. And once you've plugged it in, get the exact answer by pressing this fraction button. So 240 over 17 is our answer. Did you see how much faster that was than doing all the similar triangle stuff? Now, if I don't show you why this formula works, you're not gonna remember it. So let me show you how I remember it. Down here, you will see two right triangles. Now, these two right triangles are actually the exact same because if you take this first one and you flip it, see how they're the exact same? Okay, here's the important part. If the area of the triangle is base times height divided by two, you can use A as the base, you can use B as the height, and divided by two. The area of this triangle can also be represented by C times X divided by two because in this triangle, C is the base and X is now the height because they're both perpendicular. And since these two expressions represent the same thing, the area of this triangle, we can actually set them equal to each other. So we put this into here. So C times X divided by two equals A times B divided by two. And I think you can see where we're going with this. Multiply both sides by two, C times X equals A times B. Since we're solving for X, if you divide both sides by C, you're going to get X equals A times B divided by C, which is our formula. This works for any right triangle. These types of questions actually pop up quite a bit on the SAT. They're probably not going to look exactly like this, but they might look something like this. So this is a practice question I have for you. Get a pen, get a piece of paper and actually do this right now. The answer will be in the pinned comment down below. Real quick, take a look at this video from one of my students that took the June 2025 SAT. After the test, you like texted me and you're like, I had eight minutes left at the end of module two. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Like that was the most insane part, like more than like knowing the questions for me, it was like my timing because that was like my biggest issue, like even like on the Tuesday, like before I like talked to you, um, mm. I was always running out of time on math, like I math and reading, I mean, reading, I still ran out of time. But yeah, math, like, I like I could not finish the questions like that was like my big, I was like, even if I know how to do them, I don't have time to do them. Mm. So I was so shocked that I actually had like a decent amount of time left. So On the second module of the SAT math, most students, including top scorers, run out of time. My students have time left to check their answers because I give them the fastest solutions to the hardest problems. If you want to have time left instead of running out of time at the end of module two, go to theSCTmath.com and ask your parents to sign you up for a private one-on-one -on -one tutoring session with me. Good luck on your SATs. I'm rooting for you.